This video covers the basic use of the following SOLIDWORKS sketch tools. Convert entities, intersection curve, split entities, jog line, trim tool, and extend entities. The convert entities tool creates a line or curve based off existing geometry. It projects the edge or curve onto the current sketch. With a new sketch created, go under the sketch tab in the command manager and select Convert Entities, or go under Tools, then select Sketch Tools, and finally Convert Entities. Now in the Property Manager that appears, select the edges that are going to be converted. Once selected, click the green check mark, and then finish your sketch. Intersection curves create a curve or line where a surface in your sketch plane meet. For instance, if you have a surface such as a sphere that you wanted to pick up part of the cross section to use as a reference, first create a plane that intersects the sphere. Start a new sketch on that plane and either go under the drop down menu under Convert Entities and select Intersection Curve, or go under Tools, Sketch Tools, and then Intersection Curve. Now select the surface that intersects the plane and click OK. Under Tools and Sketch Tools, there is a tool called Split Entities. This tool can be used to break a line or curve into smaller parts, so that only part of the line can be trimmed. With the tool selected, click on a curve or line to split it. This point can also be dimensioned to put it in an exact position. The Jog Line, which can be found under Tools and then Sketch Tools, extends part of the sketch by creating a rectangular tab off an existing line. With this tool selected, click a line and move your cursor away from this point. Now click the mouse to accept the jog line. This tool is helpful to create tabs on a part or to add material around a feature such as a hole. The trim tool, which can be found under the sketch tab or by going under tools and then sketch tools, is very useful for removing segments of lines that are unnecessary. In the property manager for this tool, there are five different options. To use power trim, Click and hold the cursor starting away from the entities and then move your cursor over the entities to be trimmed. If you remove a line that you want to save, move your cursor over the red square to add in that line again. The corner tool allows you to pick two lines and extend or trim them to form a corner. This tool only works if the two lines either intersect or would intersect each other if they were extended. To use Trim Away Inside, select two lines and then you can remove any of the sketch entities that are between them. Trim Away Outside works the same as the inside one, but you select and remove entities on the outside of these two lines. The Trim to Closest tool allows you to remove only a section of an entity up until it intersects another sketch entity. The section that it will remove is highlighted in orange. This tool can be used to extend an entity by selecting the entity to be extended and then dragging the cursor towards the line or curve that it will extend to. Click the mouse to extend the line. Under the drop down for trim entities, there's also a tool to extend entities. Move the cursor over the line to be extended. As long as there is another entity where the end of the line can stop, an orange line will appear showing the extension to be made. If the cursor is clicked, the line will be extended. I hope this video will help you use these sketch tools in your own models.